doing all? I hope y'all are having a dope ass day. It's your boy Alex and I am back today with another reaction video. And my Akuna Matata shirt! Say what's up to everybody, you're so big now, what the hell? Anyway, today we are going to be reacting to a song by Mark Morton featuring Chester Bennington. Now Mark Morton is the lead guitarist of Lamb of God. No shit, Sherlock. I'm sure everybody out there knows that I didn't, I had to look it up. But I know who Chester Bennington is, and if you don't know who Chester Bennington is, then I don't like you! Obviously Chester Bennington is an amazing sensation, amazing person, beautiful soul, beautiful human being. Oh my god, my heart rate is through the fucking roof! You are high as a fucking kite! The song we're gonna be reacting to today is called Cross Off. Now I did do a tiny bit of research, found out that Cross Off is a single produced by Mark Morton of Lamb of God and features late singer Chester Bennington, formerly the lead singer of Linkin Park. It was recorded not long before Bennington's suicide in July of 2017. This song can be seen as a return to some of the heavier music that Chester Bennington had produced with Linkin Park prior to their 2017 One More Light album. So, super stoked to hear this. With that being said, I hope y'all's day is going dope as hell. Speaking of dope ass days, the Have a Dope Ass Day t-shirts are back for sale. They are back in stock. Check them out right here. T-shirt, long sleeve, hoodie, crew neck, whatever, a ton of different colors. Link to them will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to go check them out if you want to and go snag them representing the Hefner family and you know you want to because they're dope as hell. Every single time I wear one, I get a compliment. So if you want to stand out in public, wear that shirt and you will get their attention. Anyway, let's get a link to the original video for everything will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. <sighs> I promise I'm just high on life. Let's get it. surreal hearing Chester again. It just sounds so nostalgic because hearing Chester just reminds me of my childhood, like my middle school, my elementary school days, whenever I was listening to a little bit of Linkin Park. It just sounds so good, dude. Now I feel like it's cool because it also goes like up and down with intensity. Like there are times in the song whenever it's just not so intense. And I, I follow this page on Instagram called like something about physics fun or whatever, something about physics. And they had this demonstration where they had a metal ball on this wooden structure. It was just straight flat line. And right next to it, they had another wooden structure that went up and down. And they placed a metal ball at the same rate and let them go. And the one that had the up and downs actually went down and came back faster than the one that was just in a straight line. Point being, you get more intensity and more motion whenever you're getting that up and down action, which this song portrays perfectly. That's what I'm talking about, that up and down motion. So black out and I behind the lines. Keep staring down the sun and all the light will finally find your eyes and see it. Cross up the days gone by. Cross up the days gone by.
hitting bars in here? Boy's got that little rap action going. Let's go. Did you survey everything you laid to waste and cross off the days? So black out and I behind the lines. Keep staring down the sun and all the light will finally find your eyes and see it. Cross up the days gone by. Cross up the days gone by. Cross up the days gone by. Wow. Okay, so that honestly wasn't what I expected. I don't really know what I expected from this song, but dude, the guitar work was phenomenal, so shout out to Mark Morton for that. Oh, hi, Mark. Just really, really good guitar work, and then obviously you got Chester Bennington. He can never disappoint. You cannot disappoint if you got Chester doing vocals. Chester and a bad song should never be used in the same sentence, in my opinion. I don't know, but this was really, really cool. Holy shit, bro. I did, I did do a tiny bit more research. Found that Morton recorded all guitars with Paolo and Alex Bent of Trivia, who handled the bass guitar and the drums. I did not know that. That is fucking sick, dude. They did a phenomenal job. So just like such a cool combination of people and musicians and artists coming together to form this badass song. It's just really intoxicating. Like it's such a fun song to listen to. It just, the energy rubs off on you like musically, sonically, spiritually, every kind of which way. It just sounds so good, dude. Definitely have no complaints. Obviously look at my face, dude. It's hella smiling. Makes me happy, makes me feel positive. It's just so good to hear Chester again and hear all these amazing musicians come together for this dope fucking track so that's what I gotta say about it but that's where you guys come in drop some comments down below let me know what you think about this song this group this video in general and that is all I got for you today so keep smiling keep being yourself don't let anybody throw shade at you I will see you guys tomorrow that's a motherfucking fact though yeah y'all make sure to hit that link and go get yourself some have a dope ass day shirts because they will not be here forever and they are a way to support the movement telling people to have a dope ass day if you have been positively impacted by my energy and by my message of have a dope ass day then I think that you should snag one obviously because it puts money in my pocket but it obviously helps you guys out too by giving you some dope ass apparel and spreading a positive message so love you guys so much I'll see you tomorrow peace I got